Hey, kumusta? It's Ligaya and welcome to another mod showcase and I wanted to hold the first in uploading because I'm still in the process of ordering parts for my new PC because as you know, my current one sucks. So if you think that my video has a low FPS, I'm so sorry. I'm not actually um, very good at computers and I watched Sims video at two times speed except for some simmers and also my own videos, I watched them at two times. That's why I didn't notice the lags. And so I wanted to hold first in uploading a new video because my I had my peachy, peachy PC <laughs> checked by a friend because I wanted to ask for his opinion. And he had the audacity to laugh at my face and ask how could I have managed to run this game on such a shitty PC and record and edit some videos too. So maybe in a few months, I can complete the new PC because it has to be ordered and it isn't cheap, which made me like, clutch my heart and my dad question my life choices. He really said that I can use the money for a down payment for my own car, but yeah, I choose this one. And also, I think he forgot that I don't know how to drive, so um, how the frick am I supposed to do that? But yeah, for now, I'm gonna move on to show you the new and underrated mods, and even those that have been popular for quite some time now that I only decided to try. And not to be me, but the sim is actually my favorite because of his um, personality, I think. <laughs> And without further ado, let's start with number one, which is the wedding cakes as birthday cakes mod. So you would need my wedding stories for this. And keep in mind though that the mod is an override, thus it can conflict with other wedding cake mods that you may already have in your game. So this one is pretty simple. All you have to do is to click on your stove or on your fridge. Then just find the option where it says wedding cakes. Then just choose what you want to make for your sim's um, birthday. So your sim will then cook the wedding cake or bake it rather. Then they will do also the decorations that will turn your two tier cakes to four <laughs> for some reason. Which makes me think that there must be a styrofoam between those layers or the amount of frosting in those must be enough to cause diabetes. Then once the cake is done, just have your sim blow out the candles and they can age up, which is like, yeah, pretty straightforward. Continuing with the topic of food, I have a new food mod for you guys. So I was just minding my business on Tumblr when this got recommended to me. And I'm a sucker for food mods to be honest. I like my sim to be able to eat a lot of great food from different cuisine. And also, food mods are generally just a lot better than once what we have in the sims in my own opinion okay so this mod is created by tiana sims and i'll be linking their patreon below so you guys can support them if you want and can to what what if you can and want to i mean and you can find their patreon in their patreon i mean the main mod and the recipes that you need to download for this mod to work again download the recipes because it won't work the mod will not work without it. And here are just some examples of the food mod like this tomato toast, cross buns, hot cross buns, chicken kev, Greek yogurt, um, ice cream cake, and then the bunny cupcake. Our third mod is one that I highly suggest you get if you like taking screenshots because you know this weird light bulb and plus signs that just appears over your sims head? It used to be my problem when it comes to taking screenshots. And those are actually because of lot traits. There are special effects and you can remove that with Peter Skywalker's Hide Lot Trait Effects mod. If you download it, it would say that it's made in 2016 but don't worry, it still works for the latest patch in April 2022. Then we have a mod to take your sims on rabbit hole trips and if you're playing with a very hectic household, sometimes you can't focus on everybody and things such as concerts, zoos, or operas, operas and rabbit hole movies don't really exist in the sims. So with the help of this mod, you can now keep your sims away for just a few hours and live their lives also on those few hours. So in order to embark on an activity though, your sim would have to purchase a bus ticket if they're like kids or they can also get a driver's license so they won't have to take the bus anymore. 
They can go to zoos, museums, concerts, and adventures, and once you've already chosen what you want them to do, they will go ahead and disappear on the rabbit hole for just a few hours, and they would come back with their moodlets about the trip that they had. So Melissa, our child sim right here, got a negative moodlet from her trip. And my adult sim who I had like go to a concert got a happy moodlet. Moving on to our fifth mod, our next mod has something to do with your sims work hours. So personally, it never bothers me that my sims work hours shift every promotion that they get. But for some people, they don't find that realistic at all and would just rather keep the work days from 9 to 5 at 5 days a week. So with this mod, you can do that. You can find this interaction in your phone. And this also works with multiple jobs mod by Turbo according to the creator. So in the notification options, I mean portion, there are stuff that are going to pop up asking your sim what hours and days that they would prefer when it comes to working and also they want to know if you want to work part-time and not so this is really good if you're planning to make your sim go to university and they can go work at night and i tried this with a doctor career and it works <laughs> yeah holy shit it works so now you can have a doctor on like a graveyard shift but if you don't want to deal with that one anymore and you just want to shift to the default working hours, then you can click the return to company default hours also in the same portion as to like on the phone, I mean. Then at 6, I have for you is a functional object by Sepzid, which are the functional barbell rows. So your sims can gain muscle and fitness skill with these and you can find them on the activity and skills category. So the one that has like a punching bag portion. So your sim can also work out with these, of course. And you can play it, place, I mean, place these on gym lots because according to the creator, NPCs can also use this, so it has a pretty good animation too, which is why Sims Team, if you're listening, if you're planning to make a kit, please let it be a gameplay kit, and one that is like full of new workout equipments, like I just beg you at this point. Next, we have kites. So toddlers can also use this by the way, I just forgot to have our Sim try this earlier when she was still a toddler. And the thing is you have to remember for this mod is that you have to place this on the grass outside, not inside your house. So there are three interactions that will be unlocked if your sim has fitness level 6 or your child has movement level 6. And you can have the options too of getting a diamond, a butterfly, a bird, a fish, and a pent pentagon kite. And I believe actually I have forgotten to download a kite, like one kite because it's missing one. Then we have the chalk box by the gold sim so your children can draw on the sidewalks which I think is really cute as well. So there are 9 chalk drawings that your little ones can draw and they can also destroy it right after. Then we have the hula hoop that can be enjoyed by both adults and also children so it increases fitness for adults and movement for children and your sims can have the chance of dropping the hoop if they have also a low level skill so I think these are a very fun mods for like example family gameplay like the last three that I have talked to you guys about. Then I have for you a mod that is pretty useful if you have toddlers who want to watch TVs but your sim is busy. So with this mod, your sim can automatically turn on the TV despite not walking up to it. And it's called the Turn On TV Mod by Shenanigans. So this one is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is to click the Turn On portion button, I mean, and choose a, uh, a channel that your sim wants to watch. We're now gonna wrap this up with another mod by the same creator as last one to help your sims build skills while also listening to podcasts and audiobooks. So this is base game compatible but it has a version that also requires city living. So we had him listen to Shaken and Steered which is a podcast about mixology and I'll show you that by listening to it, um, it makes his skill go up. 
and that was it you guys so 11 mods this time i hope they'll be helpful in improving your gameplay and make the sims fun for you guys so i plan to do this at least twice a month or once a month because um the modding community in the sims 4 is just so fast in popping out these mods and so that's it for this video and i'll just see you next time bye